So we welcome back the driver of the number three American Ethanol Chevrolet, Austin Dillon, our Coors Light Poll Award winner for the 20th Annual Auto Club 400. Austin, this is your second poll, uh, and this is your uh, first poll here in 2016, and your first poll in three races Auto Club. Tell us about that run. Uh, I just this means the the world to me uh, to get another poll. You know, you had I had a poll and it was looming. It was Daytona and. You know the guys. There's just kind of one for the guys, you know. And and this one is too. This is more. I feel like I gave him a little bit more effort here. You know, it's a driver's track at Fontana, and you really can study and find different lines and move around and find speed. And it just uh, it makes our whole team feel really good going into the to Sunday. Um, you know, it's it's a uh, feels like a career day for me to win a pole at somewhere else than Daytona, though. Excellent questions for our pole award winner. We'll start with. We'll start with Dominic, then we'll go to Chris, then we'll go to Wolfgang. Dominic got to go on the RacingExperts.com. I know you talked about earlier today about having a shot at the pole, but based on practice and qualifying, how confident were you that you'd be able to sit on the pole today? Well, actually, after our first run, yeah, I tried to save a little bit, but um, I didn't. Uh, I didn't want to save that much. We were well. Actually, my engineer told me we wanted to be from 13th to 24th in the first run. We were 13th, but the car just didn't feel as good as it had in practice. Uh, I felt a little tighter. Um, so we freed up the car a little bit, and the second run went pretty well. Still a little snug, and um, going into the third round, I, I never veered from our plan. Our line was the same the entire time, and looking at where guys were gaining and losing to me, I, I was really good through three and four, and um, guys would, would gain a little bit on me into one. So um, the final run, I just kept my same game plan, tried to stay really smooth on the throttle pedal, and it worked out. Go to Chris. ChrisKnightCatchFence.com. Congratulations on the poll. Um, you have a fast today, but tomorrow is when you focus on race setup. How confident are you that you can turn that poll into a win? Well, you know, obviously you see right there that we have a car that has some speed to it. Um, now we got to see how far we can go with our car as far as, you know, lap speed into a run. Um, I'm very confident in my guys. They'll give me something to work with, and they already have, uh, you know, the speed's there. So. Just uh, focus on running that wall because that's where the race is going to be at, I think. Uh, in the long run, everybody's going to be running right by the wall. Um, we'll practice a lot up there and see if we can get our car to work on the bottom for a few laps and move all the way up. Wolfgang? I have a follow-up question. So for the race, you will change the setup or you will keep it like it is? <clears throat> I mean, obvi the core stuff will stay the same. We'll just try and make our car run um, lap time sim longer you know we might not bust off that fast lap we just kind of want to stay consistent throughout a run so we'll do whatever we can to just make our car um you know hold on for a long period of time we won't change anything really core wise but small things here and there adjustment wise we'll go to jerry now please and then we'll come over here to kathy jerry jordan performance racing network and kicking the tires obviously you would rate yourself really good today, but talk about your season to this point, uh, and also looking forward. Uh, who do you think may have the uh, the best advantage overall uh, with this new package? Oh man, um, yeah, I just think that um, you know we've done a good job as a group to make our team better, and um, we still got work to do, man. I'm, I'm this is the start of what we need to be doing as a group, as a company at RCR. I feel like our company has everything that all the other companies have. And um, we have the drivers also. So this is a start, and we still have a lot of work to go. So we'll keep our head down. It definitely feels good to have a small moral victory right here. Um, by the way, Auto Club Speedway has the coolest pole trophy. I got a sweet uh, door smasher. Um, so it was, um, it was very cool to, to do that, and I, I enjoyed it. We'll go to Kathy, then Lewis, then Mike. Sorry, I didn't end the end of the question. Who's the best right now as far as the package goes? I, I don't know. I think every team showed a little bit of strength at certain tracks. Some weeks I say there somebody else, some one team's good. The next week another team's good. So I think it's been pretty even, truthfully. Overall, um, as companies come and go, you got every every manufacturer's won. So it's uh, it's pretty tight out there. I think this package has done a good job to to make the racings better. Kathy Brown pitting outside the box, kind of going off of what you were just asked. Did you expect that you were going to be doing so well when it switched to the new rules package? Because a lot of some drivers were vocal about it. You know, the two times that it raced last year. Did you expect that this was going to happen? Uh, no, I, I just went to work. You know, I figured everybody's going to have the same stuff as as I've got, and I got to go out there and, and get get better as a driver. Um, so we went to work. I, I've always had this drive. Um, 
as a driver to to want to get better and to work hard and i think the right group around me the right group of people is around me supporting me showing me the right things to get better um point me in the right direction each time i come off the track somebody's talking to me uh on improving and i got i also my, my engineers are doing a good job of not being satisfied with just good good isn't good enough you know what i mean so that's uh that's making me a better driver and and i, I enjoy the encouragement and the um the push from those guys we'll go to lewis then finish up with mike Louis Frank of Reuters. You know, in racing, it's said that after you get the first win, all the rest keep coming. <laughs> and without jinxing you, how close are, do you feel now to your first win in Cup? Oh, man. Um, I feel like we just got to keep doing our job, and that day is going to come. Um, the effort is being put in right now by all, and uh, I just want to keep working hard and, and have those opportunities. And then when that first one gets behind me, you might see a totally different guy out there. I definitely know that. I feel like I'm not going to lose the fire. I'm just going to want everything. Right now, it's, you know, I've won in the Xfinity Series. I've won in the Truck Series. When you get that first one behind you, everything just starts coming easier for you. You know, the guys respect you. They know when you're coming. They, they know that you're there, you know. So um, we've got to break through that wall. We broke through a wall today by getting a pole. So we got a few more barriers we need to break down, and, and then I feel like we'll be one of the elite teams in NASCAR. Mike Kimber, USA Today. Uh, Austin, when you um, talk about managing the speed with the, with the speed so close, how do you work the strategy of trying to be fast in that first round but not too fast? It's tough. Um, you just got to know where to give up the speed, I guess. There's small areas on the track that you can gain speed by, you know, being a little harder on the tires. Um, you know, for instance, you know, coming to the green, a lot of these poles are one on your outlap coming to the green. And, um, you know, for instance, the first one, I tried not to really scrub my tires, that first one coming to the green and tried not to heat them up too much. And just certain areas of the track, you, you it starts from when you leave pit road. You have to focus from there on, and each run, you can change a couple things to gain or lose, and uh, just trying to keep some of that meat on the tires so they grip up for that last run. We'll do one final question with Chris. Real quick, on the Xfinity car, you were fastest in final practice over there, too. How's the car over there, and can you, like, potentially a double sweep weekend? Uh, we still got a little work to do over there. I think um, we've definitely we've made it better from the last two weeks, speed wise. Um, but I think uh, top of the leaderboard still shows that um, the Gibbs cars have been tough. And I thought Harvick had a good late run in that practice. So there's still going to be a lot of strong competitors. We need to get a little bit better. Um, but my confidence is up. My confidence is high. So we'll uh, work hard all day tomorrow. Austin, awesome. congratulations on the poll and good luck the rest of the weekend. Thank you, guys.